It's not an easy thing having sickle cell. Most people in my sage cannot even have kids or even work because they spend most of their time in the hospital getting blood transfusion and pain medicine all the time. Paulina's pregnant, we're all excited for her. She wanted nothing more than to be a mother again, even though it meant that she had to come off of a medication that was really controlling her sickle cell disease really well. But it's a medication that you can't take while pregnant because it could affect the baby adversely. So she made that really tough decision to come off of it. She's done really well despite that. Pregnancy and sickle cell disease is very risky and luckily here we have the support systems in place to ensure that both mom and baby have the best possible outcomes. I'm the nurse coordinator for the New England Sickle Cell Institute um, and my role primarily involves uh, reaching out to our patients in the community. I also attend to the patients while they're here. Um, I assist with IV transfusions and IV pain management. Every month I have to come in and test my blood levels and if it's low they give me more. I feel like it gives me energy when I leave you here so I can do anything. I work, I take care of my two kids, no problems. This pregnancy has been really, really good and my family are actually amazed that I'm up and going. What's the most rewarding about this job is seeing our patients when they're well. I just love what I do here. Everybody that works here they're very good. They do their best. They go the extra mile and they will let you know that you're not alone. And that is really good to hear when you have some kind of diseases like this. This program they have here in Yukon is a gift to people with sickle cell. 